everybody, this is Becca and welcome to this Feeling Crafty video. Today I want to share with you something I'm really excited about because it combines two loves of mine, creativity and productivity. Um, it's the new Love Today planner kit from Stamping Up. It is amazing! Um, I do have to admit I've been a productivity nerd and a planner geek for well, probably since the late 80s. Um, my diaries I use partly to plan to know what I've got to do, partly to know where I need to be, and partly to help me remember what happened when I look back through them. And the Love Today Planner Kit is going to help me do all three of those. It can help you, it, it, uh, as I say, be organised and to, to, to know what happened when, when you want to go back and keep memories, maybe look back through old photos, maybe do some memory keeping. Um, the kit comes with absolutely everything you need in it, although I do have to admit I've added a few things because I had them on my desk and they were pretty. You can use it if you're a crafter, it gives you loads of creative opportunities, but it's also great if you just want to get stuff done. The kit comes in a wonderful box, it's not assembled, so you do assemble it yourself and you put the plan it together the way you want it but it's really really easy and there's a full set of instructions in colour um, and with all the writing and things if you prefer the words. Um, it's really easy to do and you'll be up and running in absolutely no time. The planner itself is this beautiful um, dark blue knight of navy um, outer with beautiful gold dots these reinforced corners mean that it's absolutely great it's really lightweight compared to a lot of the planners i've used um, and i do have to admit i've had time manager international the franklin covey planners the filofaxes the day timers the uh erin condrens you name them i've probably tried them um oh and notebooks that i've done myself because i couldn't quite find what i wanted um this is great to use on your desk, but it's also great to use on the go, so it's lovely and sturdy, um, and as I say, lightweight. When you open it up, you can see it's got these beautiful gold D-rings, which keep the pages beautifully flat, and you can see the first few things that I've added. Over here, I've used one of the gold binder clips to add some memories and more cards, partly because I like the sentiment and want to remember that, and partly because I quite often need somewhere just to jot things down, so having a few cards there means I've always got them to hand. Right at the front, I've put the big the big pocket that comes with the kit. Um, I like to always have a thank you card to have on hand to send if I need to or to give to somebody if I see them out and about. So I've just popped a thank you card in there ready to go. Um, the months come with these gorgeous laminated uh, pages, so they'd be great to use as a dashboard. They're great for putting post-it notes on, strips of washi tape, um, sticking things that you need to not forget for the month. Um, and because they're laminated, they're lovely and strong. I'm just going to take the pen out of the clip. Each month is different. Um, so there we have July, August, I love that one, September, and so on, October. Oops. I'm not going to show you all of them because this would be quite a dull video, but you can tell they're all absolutely super. Love them. Um, the inside of them all is the same. Now, I like to have um, some inspiration to keep me focused during the month, so I've printed out some sayings that, that are talking to me at the moment and some pictures, that kind of thing, just to keep me really focused. And they're stuck on with some of the gorgeous washi tape. Each month then starts with a beautiful page like this and the way I'm going to be using mine is I've got my goals for the month because we need to be productive, the cards I want to send and the things I want to celebrate. I'm going to notice my key achievements there, I'm going to put a photo that kind of sums the month up for me there at the end of the month and in here um, I'm going to write a little summary of June once it's done. When you then come inside, the planner isn't dated, so you can start it whenever you like. So no more wasted uh, pages in your planner, no more desperately waiting to the end of the year or to the start of the academic year to start your new diary. You can start now, which is fantastic. So I don't know about you, I get something new like this. I just want to do and play and use it. So the name of the month is written on the pages and you then fill in the dates so this can work for any year. Um, now I've added some stamping on this um, using the gorgeous um, Tabs for Everything stamp set. Um, it has a matching punch which is going to be amazing um, and I've used some of our coordinating inks but you could just write on these. I've also used some more washi tape to mark out things that are happening over multiple days. 
I use a lot of abbreviations in my diary. I'm a bullet journaler. I love bullet journaling and that kind of helps me just keep things really focused and leave some white space. But if you really enjoy decorating your planner, there's plenty of room to, to decorate here as well. At the bottom of each monthly page, there's this grid which I am using to track my goals and track my habits. So there are various things I want to do every day and there's room to have all 31 days of a month if it's a 31 day month. Obviously June's only got 30. Um, and here I'm, tr I'm tracking the number of times I do a particular thing in my business. I'm going to take you to this week, I think, first to show you how I'm using the planner. Um, again, you're putting in the, the days here. Um, you get this gorgeous page marker which just clips in and out so you can move it around. I've used one of the gold stickers to mark this one as today. And you'll notice that I've stuck a Memories and More card on it. I like to have my to-do list able to move along in the book with me, so by doing that I can do that. Um, Using the Covey idea of big rocks, those are the three things I absolutely must do this month, and here's the rest of the to oh, this week, sorry, and here's the rest of the to do list. Um, you'll see that I've got my meetings there um, and room for some bullet journaling. Um, I'm directing a show this week, so I've stuck our, our flyer in there, so I've got all the details to hand. Um, I also love lighthouses, and they help me remember to stay focused, so I've stamped a lighthouse on, on my diary pages. Um, as I go through the week, I will be writing down the things I've done on a particular day. Let me show you a completed week done this style. Here we go. So there's the first week of June. You can see that um, I had a couple of days holiday and then got into some, some serious planning. I've used the, the to-do today, so when I had things I have to do on a specific day, um, I've used that stamp and just written them down there. So uh, there's a shopping list here. Um, I had a class that day, so those are the people that came to class. Um, and again, some, some journaling. The little hearts, um, part of bullet journaling um, that I've taken maybe slightly differently is I like to write down some things I'm grateful for each day. So the little hearts are my gratitudes for the day. And this was my card that, that had my to-do list for the week on it. So until the end of the month at least, I'm just going to stick them on the page um, so I can find them. What I could also do is if I wanted to stick them, pop them on there because they'd fit beautifully. Um, however, I just slapped it on there. I tried a couple of different things with the planner just to see how it worked. Um, the next week I went a little bit more flexible. I put a different Memories and More card there. Um, I This is actually a replacement one because um, the content of the meetings there was a bit confidential but I had the agenda for the meetings written there so that was easily to hand. Um, you can see UPS came, yay! Um, and all the different things that happened. There's a bit more journaling, uh, we did some painting so I kept a paint swatch so that I, if I need to go get more paint I know what it was. Then last week I tried something different again. I decided that I'd do more journaling in my planner. My to-do list um, actually went over two cards because there was quite a lot that had to happen uh, and those are down on my work desk uh, in my office as opposed to up here in the craft room. Um, but as you can see there's plenty of room for journaling on the pages there. If you need extra space just tape it in. So that's how mostly how I'm using the month. What I've also done is punch some holes in one of the beautiful gold stripy bags from Stamping Up. My receipts are just going in there as I go along so that come the end of the month when I do my accounts um, they're easily to hand. Um, and that's how I'm going to be using this page to financially track how the month went. And then we'll be on into the next month. Um, if I take you then to the end of the planner um, I've got the other pocket here, I've got some tickets that I'm going to be using, um, bits and bobs there, so those are easily to hand. You get these beautiful photo pages, I probably will do a photo page at some point, but at the moment I'm just using it to look after my, my post-it notes. Um, and you've also got the room, the, the, the sticker sheets are punched so they can just go in the binder. Um, I've used another binder clip here because it makes a great pen holder, so I've always got a pen with me when I'm on the go. Um, I'm using uh, a couple, of, I've used a couple of different things in this planner actually. I've used mostly these uh, friction pens because the ink rubs out, so I don't know about you, I have meetings that change quite often, so I need to be able to rub them out and start again. These are the friction pens from Pilot, but I've also been using um, stamping in here, so you can see there's um, some stamping, no bleed through whatsoever, and um, the journaling I did last week was in fountain pen, um, and again, that hasn't bled through at all, so so the pages are really thick, they're really great quality. 
there's plenty of room in the binder. What I've done is I've got this month's pages uh, where I've got all the week pages and I have put in um, July's pages but from August onwards, so I've got this month and next month, I've just put in the um, the month overview and that means that you could if you like having 18 months in your planner quite easily have 18 months in here and to do that you just need to buy a refill kit um, and then you can have as many months as you want what i've done is i've used um, a memories and more six by eight planner um, i've decorated this well this is one i've had around and i've been using for quite a long time but i'm going to decorate myself another one soon i'm sure um, but the pages just sit nicely in that and then when I finish June the pages will go in here as well and they'll be nice and safe and ready just to sit on my shelf, ready for when I want to look back over things or when I want to do some memory keeping. So if you'd like to grab yourself um, one of the gorgeous Love Today planners, hop on over to www.becca.stampingup.net and click shop now. If you've got any questions please do just ask and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. Bye bye.